the learning. Mickey and friends, a perfect picnic. It was a beautiful spring day. The sun was shining and the birds were singing. Mickey and Pluto were planning a picnic in the park. I have an idea, Mickey said. We should invite our friends to the picnic. We can all enjoy the sunshine and share our favorite foods. Mickey called Goofy. Pluto and I are having a picnic, he told his friend. Would you like to come? Goofy agreed. A picnic was a great way to spend the day. Bring your favorite fruit, your favorite sandwich, and your favorite drink, Mickey said. Then everyone can trade baskets. Next, Mickey visited Minnie. We are having a picnic, he told her. Minnie was excited. She could not wait to share her favorite foods. Soon, Mickey found Donald and Daisy. A picnic sounds like a great idea, Daisy said. I know just what to make, Donald added. At home, Donald started his lunch. He took out two pieces of bread to make a sandwich. He got out his favorite drink. Then he chose a piece of fruit. But as he looked at the food, Donald began to get hungry. I do not want to share my lunch, he thought. I want to eat it myself. Minnie was making lunch too. She put her drink into a jug. She packed a piece of fruit. Then she made her favorite sandwich, peanut butter. As she got ready, Minnie started to wonder if she would like the other lunches. I do not want to share my lunch, she thought. I want to eat it myself. Daisy was excited about sharing her lunch with her friends. She hummed to herself as she packed her sandwich and drink. Then she picked up a banana. Daisy thought of someone else eating her favorite fruit. I do not want to share my lunch, she thought. I want to eat it myself. Over at Goofy's house, the kitchen was very messy. Goofy was making lemonade to take to the picnic. He was soaking wet and covered in lemon juice. Goofy tasted his lemonade. It was delicious. This is my best lemonade ever, he thought. I do not want to share it. I want to drink it all by myself. Mickey did not know that his friends had changed their minds. He was busy packing his basket. Is that everything, Pluto? He asked. Pluto barked and whined. Thanks for reminding me, Mickey said. I would not want to forget your lunch. Mickey finished filling his basket and went to the park. As he walked, he sang to himself. Mickey's friends were waiting for him. They all had baskets of food, but they did not look happy. What is wrong? Mickey asked. I do not want to share my lunch, Donald said. What if I do not like the lunch I get? Minnie asked. Daisy and Goofy agreed. Everyone wanted to eat their own favorite foods. I guess we do not have to trade, Mickey said. Minnie looked at Mickey. He looked very sad. She handed him her basket. I will trade with you, Mickey, she said. Mickey's friends saw that Minnie had made Mickey happy. They wanted to make Mickey happy too. Will someone trade with me? Donald asked, holding out his lunch. Soon, 
They had all swapped baskets. Mickey laid out a blanket. Minnie passed out plates. Goofy handed out napkins. Daisy gave everyone a cup. Donald set out forks. Finally, it was time to eat. Mickey opened his basket first. He started to laugh. Donald looked in his basket and laughed too. Everyone had packed lemonade and peanut butter sandwiches. But each basket had a different fruit. Donald had a pineapple. Daisy had grapes. Minnie had an orange. Goofy had a banana. Mickey had an apple. How can we share our fruit? Minnie asked. I have an idea, Mickey said. Leave it to me. While everyone ate their sandwiches and drank their lemonade, Mickey cut up the fruit. He put it all in a bowl and mixed it together. It was a big fruit salad. Now everyone could try their friends' favorite fruits. What a great way to share what we like best, Daisy said. Mickey's friends agreed as they ate their dessert. It was the perfect end to a perfect picnic. <laughs>